Well, let's uh, talk to uh, Rob Schimek, who is uh, Group CEO of Boltec. He joins us from elsewhere in Singapore. Rob, good to talk to you and uh, good morning. Great to see you. And uh, obviously, congratulations on your closing out your uh, Series A uh, funding. Uh, can you get uh, be a little bit more specific where the money is going towards, what you're going to be using it for? Yeah, thanks for having me, Martin. I think the first thing is that we want to continue to extend our position as a leader in the insurance exchange in the U.S. We've built today the largest insurance exchange operating anywhere in the world with more than $5 billion of premium transacting on our platform. And our goal is to continue to extend that lead, put more into technology to make the customer experience even better than it's ever been before and continue to broaden our geographic footprint across Asia, in, in particular Southeast Asia. Which is kind of uh, uh, which kind of leads to my next question, right? You've got about at last count seven point seven million customers, fourteen markets, three continents. Why focus so much on the U.S. though? Uh, I mean, that seems to be what you're suggesting. Uh, the uh, uh, the Series A money is a lot of it's going to going to go towards when uh, a lot of people are still saying, look, Asia is where the growth is, underpenetrated, underinsured. Yeah, we love the uh, the Asian marketplace for for sure. I live in Singapore, so that that tells you that we believe that it's a particularly strong opportunity. But without a doubt, the largest insurance market in the world is the U.S., and we are in fact the largest player in the U.S. And so our intention is to continue to extend and uh, and expand our capabilities in the U.S. and then use all of those lessons that we've learned in the U.S. and bring them to Asia. So we can bring a better customer experience to Asia, a better platform to Asia, and actually help that Asian marketplace move even faster than we were able to move in the U.S. Hey, Rob, good morning. So Boltec is effectively an exchange or uh, even a supermarket for insurance products. So if that is the business model, can you give us a sense of who you have onboarded in terms of vendors and uh, what you are seeing in terms of user growth? The way I want to present this for everyone is to help you understand that basically what Boltec does is we help everyone um, make it easier to buy and sell insurance. And to put this in context, we've got over 5,000 different products available on our marketplace and over 150 different insurers. So when you wonder which kind of partners we have, first of all, from an insurance company perspective, Um, Most of the larger insurance companies are our partners. Um, We are partners with the established players. You know who those are, but also the newcomers and even the non-insurers, which can include the banks, the payment platforms, the e-commerce players. And ultimately, our goal is to help make them all better, Um, just offer a wider range of insurance, make it fast and easy and offer more choice to the customer. Right. uh, So that almost preempts my next question. If you can just give me a bit more color, Rob, then on what exactly the value proposition is, because if I am ping on insurance or Aviva or Prudential, then surely one would have thought that uh, they are digitally ready and I've got my own consumer facing digital platform. So what do you bring to the table in terms of incrementals? Well, the first thing I'd say is we are by far the largest of our kind operating anywhere in the world. Um, We're also one of the few who actually operates in a truly global market. But if you said to me, what do you do? I'd say we work with partners around the world, regardless of where they are, to help them, to enable them to embed insurance into the customer journey exactly at the point of need. And in doing so, what we do is we help our customers, one, offer more choice to their customers with 5,000 different products and 150 different insurance carriers on our platform Two, unlock new revenue streams for all of those partners. And then three, we just want to help them all join the future of insurance. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. Uh, you know, you've got scale, you're global. Uh, I get that. You're only into series A uh, uh, funding, uh, right? And within a, within a year of launch, you're already worth more than a billion dollars. You're the latest uh, unicorn. Uh, we can get back to talking about your business model in just a bit, but I'm sort of impatient. So let's cut to the chase. In terms of exit, what are you guys thinking? Is it IPO? Is it trade sale? Do you get bought over? Uh, and how soon? How fast? 
There's no doubt about it that one of the most important um, elements of the fuel for this machine for the Bolt rocket ship is in fact capital. So the Series A capital will help us to make sure that we can do some smaller acquisitions and make sure that we have all the capital that it will take to get through to a positive EBITDA, positive free cash flow. But, uh, but we see a lot of additional opportunities for growth around the world that we know will take additional capital. Um, our view is that for sure there is the possibility at a future date of uh, additional capital raise, whether it is in the form of an IPO or, um, or some, other, some other form. I've tried to be a little bit intentionally vague there to say, I don't think we yet know um, how fast that will be or how much capital we want to raise. But we do know this for sure, that this will be a business that with, the enough, with enough capital has the opportunity to truly transform the shape of the marketplace. Rob, uh, China is a huge addressable market for uh, insurance, of course. So what are you guys doing to uh, break into that market and how tough a market is it to crack into? We're currently not operating in China. Of course, we're operating across um, Asia more broadly. So we're in 14 different countries, um, but in Southeast Asia, you'll find us operating in a leadership position across many of the Southeast Asian countries. And our view is that, um, that China is an interesting opportunity. There's no way you can ever ignore it. But the rest of Asia is also very interesting. And so we see Southeast Asia as a really big opportunity in and of itself. And that's where we're currently focusing our attention. Rob, great conversation. We've got to leave it there, sir. Thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. Rob Shemek there from Boltec.